Okay, before we begin, I just want to say that is this video is not about religion. It's only about the people who are trying to spread hate. So let's begin. Assalamualaikum everyone. How's it going, guys? So today's video isn't going to be in English because this video is not for it's not just for us. It's for everyone. In this video, I'll, I'll be showing that how the people are trying to spread hate at Islam. So I think two days ago I got a message from a friend and he was from my cousin he did send me a page of Instagram in which a guy uh, was showing spreading hate to Islam he just like saying that people in US say they're just leaving Islam because of the Quran and Quran Muhammad is saying that blah 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 so I just this uh, and the user name was this I'll be trying to put it over here as well because my editing, my editing is not app is not giving me that much opportunities so I can't show you but I record a lot of things like that first of all I got to know that guy who's having that page He's having like, uh, he loves his religion so much, I got to know that because he's posting a lot much about his religion. In some video, in some photos, in some photos, like he was just like, posting uh, like, Quran in that room, and uh, like, uh, he's just burning the Quran, and uh, I'm really shocked at the moment, like, how could people do this? We never ever done this. Like, we know that we we don't like like we say that our religion is true. Your religion is not true. But we never did like we we're gonna be like burn the paper. They're like we we're gonna be broke out their uh, what we say temples, every kind of thing. But they are doing this. This is uh, like I think Hindus, especially in India, hate a lot to Pakistan and our religion as well. Like. Uh, I'm as I told you I can't put here, but I'll try because this need a lot of editing skills, uh, but it's taking. Okay, so uh, after that I went to internet and start finding stuff about the about the religions, what religions like, what do people think about both of us religion, both of us country, and I found some stuff in which uh, girls got harassed in India, and I was really shocked at the moment because. Like, uh, I think 50% of gold, like, I'm also listening in, you know the media always show hate to each other's country, but in news they're just showing that, in it, that India has been declared as the most dangerous country to visit for women, because, like, literally, I think 80 or 70 or 80% of gold Queen got harassed in India from the guys like they're just like watching them like this uh, and then after that they, they, some of that didn't have that much in the gym, just like go and shit say that I wanna fuck you 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 just can't understand like how much bad they have been thinking and they're just like then they're saying that our religion is bad way our Muhammad is doing like this 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 but no word would I never say that my religion my religion is the true I know my religion is, religion is true but I never show that to like there's a, a lot of Christians in Pakistan you know uh, like uh, we're having true Christians go in our home so I'll try to ask them like how they do like they, uh, sometimes they ever have been made like people have been made their joke on like you're a Christian like we're just gonna be asked them but before that I'll be just show you which are recorded things here in which like people are showing Islam like blah 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 no I, if I don't record the religion but I just record in which girls got harassed in India this video is gonna be a bit long but you have to watch the full Okay, so now, right now, we're going to see harassment in Pakistan versus harassment in India. First, we're going to go over the harassment in India because there's multiple kind of uh, news I got from India, like girls, especially girls who are traveling in India, they got harassed. So, let's do this. So, I've been opening the page. Uh, which thing I am searching, so we can go on that uh, for sure. What the hell am I doing? Uh, um. So we can be open his one video in which she is telling that I got harassed. What's that video? 
first all be up in the video I'll see you after that okay everyone I've been found the video I've been saw this video once uh, so I think that it's time to share this with you as well so first I'll be up in that part one of my absolute earliest memories of sexual harassment while traveling was actually in India when I was around 14 years old and traveling there with my family. While I was there, it was one of the hottest temperatures I have ever experienced, 100% humidity, and being a kid, I wore shorts without realizing what kind of attention that would attract. There were men following me, every single man I passed on the street would make dead eye contact with me and then his eyes would just drop down to my body and it made me feel like I was doing something wrong to them for making them feel that way even though I was a kid it made finally made sense about why women in other cultures don't want to leave the house without a male family member escorting her I remember them following me there were people taking my photo from across the street and trying to catch up with me so that they could take photos closer. The worst part was in the eyes. It was almost like they were burning holes in my skin and I didn't feel like I was doing anything wrong other than just walking down the street with my family in the middle of the day. If that sounded uncomfortable to you, hold on to your seats because there are three more stories coming in this video. Okay, so this was just what happened with her in India. If you want to saw the whole video, so the link is in the description. So we are going to the second. Before we start, let me just show you that she's telling happened in India. So you guys are not going to be in a doubt that she's uh, showing us of somewhere else video. It can be somewhere else, but I'm just showing that it's happening with her in India. So let's begin the video again. Touching me, groping me. Um, this one guy walking by kind of leaned like his face was right here. Uh, and he just said to me, I want to fuck you right into my face with Livy right next to me. Um, so <laughs> I was I was kind of already overwhelmed by uh, that. Okay, so I'll, uh, let me just tell you what after happened with her after this. Okay, so now he's telling what just happened with her in the hotel. Like, the hotel staff was also involved. Like, they just, uh, like, she was telling that guy. He just said, I want to fuck you. That guy just, uh, he just involved the staff of the hotel as well with the, in the situation. So he's just telling what just happened in the hotel with her. Livio's flight out was a few days before mine because we were going to different places. We're traveling apart right now and he was leaving four days before me. We kind of did have the inclination that it would probably be safer if when Livio left before me that they still think he's there. So we tried to kind of sneak him out early in the morning, but um, they were down in the lobby. They definitely knew that he left, that he was going to the airport, and they knew that I was now in um, this hotel alone. From that very morning, they started acting completely different to me. At one point, they even, one of them even followed me up the stairs. They called the room and I know it was hotel employees because this phone is only for hotel use. It's not an actual phone that can call any phone numbers as I was um, about to find out later. They called the room and they just said into the phone, hey baby. And I hung up, and they called the room again, and just silent, not saying anything, and um, it was just kind of creepy. The next day, um, they called my room, and I pick up the phone, and they were making sexual noises, breathing, and there's no way that this was just normal breathing into the phone. It was. It was very okay, let me just show you the next part of the video. One of the guys knocked on the door and said, Hello, open your door. And I thought, no, I'm not opening my door. He came back about an hour later and he banged something really hard against the door. I don't know what, but it made such a loud sound and startled me. And he said, open the door. Um, 
Ma'am, ma'am, open your door right now. I said, no, I'm not going to open the door. In India, there are these big switches on... The big switch is like right outside my door and I hear him flip it off. And it's pretty distinct sound. Like, I knew that he had just turned off my AC. Immediately, he knocks at my door and says, um, hello, the AC is broken. We need to come in and fix the AC. Open the door and I will come in and fix your AC. And I just said, no, I'm not answering the door. Um, and now I will show you the video which she just in which the guys were literally standing outside of her room. So let me just find that video. I just found the video, so let's just uh, on the video, and you guys can see. As you guys can see, literally the shadow, that's of the foot shadow. You can see they're literally outside waiting for her to come, and then they're gonna be harassed, or then you know what's gonna be happen. I think she's gonna be show us one more video. Yeah. They'll keep waiting outside for her to come. And can see here. Why do I have to open the door? It's working fine, except when you turn it off. It's off because you just turned it off. No, I'm not opening the door right now. I'm busy. Okay. Uh, thankfully, nothing happened beyond everything that did happen. So I, I had noticed that they never, their shadows were never under the door early in the morning. I left for the airport super early in the morning. I think like three in the morning I left. I had a, a really long series of flights ahead of me. I think I was flying for over 48 hours. When all of this had been going on, when I was in that room, um, I felt like all of my senses were just razor sharp. I was terrified, but at the same time I was calm um, because I knew that I needed to focus on this and I went over in my head a dozen different scenarios of what if they break down the door what will I do and what if they say this then I won't answer or just going over all of these things that I could do um, even though there was uh, at the time nothing that I could do Enjoy the video so now we are gonna be going to got the reaction of the uh, those two girls who can be asked them on, uh, unfortunately i can't show you their face because uh, uh, you know it's privacy but you guys you guys have to trust on me that they are really christian okay everyone yeah. so she is with us right now so we're gonna be just ask her what kind of situation she has been um uh, faced being a christian in pakistan mm -hmm. As a Christian Pakistan, I have to say that 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 I have आपको कभी कोई यानी लोगों ने कभी कहा हो के यू आर के क्रिश्चियन सी कोई जगह नहीं है ऐसे ऐसे कभी किसी ने आपको कुछ कहा ऐसे नहीं कभी कुछ नहीं कहा नहीं ओके चलो ठीक है ओके सो आई नो यू बीन लिसन देयर एंड आई डोंट हैव मच टाइम एंड आई हैव टू बी गो एज यू गाइस कैन लिसन अजान आई फील रियली प्राउड बीइंग अ मुस्लिम एंड बीइंग इन माय कंट्री I really feel lucky that I've been born in Pakistan and as a Muslim. So always spread reality, always spread good things, not hate, not violence, not harassment. Bye bye.